another one of my top five. In this video, we will be covering the top five zombie maps in Call of Duty. Now, these are my personal favorite maps, so please don't dislike if your favorite map is not on this list. Please don't, you know, dislike. But let's get into the top five Call of Duty zombie maps. Number five, we have Garod Road. So I'd put this at number five spot because of all the stuff you can do in this map. For example, you got the dragons, the Manglar boss, which is like Brutus from Out of the Dead. You have the crazy Easter egg with no reward, which sucks, but your cut scene just makes up for it. Unfortunately, I didn't make a round to doing an Easter egg, but I, I'm not really good at zombies, so yeah. But you got the Raygun Mark 3, which is probably one of the best ray guns. The Raygun Mark 2 does more damage, but the Raygun Mark 3 is just, it, 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 it's just something unique and cool. And just all of the map is great. Like, the only thing that bugs me me is when you're trying to do the missile command thing so you know like where the uh the um like when you're trying to um get the dragon to spawn to attack a bunch it, it, it's it's like that like where they spawn in random locations it's not really hard doing that it's just so frustrating when it spawns like on the other side of the map and you're like in the middle area where the power is, and it spawns, like, at spawn point, it's so fresh, freaking frustrating to go all the way over there, and it's not that hard, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's kind of tedious, after you do it a couple times, but, yeah, that's really all I have to say for number five, but Crack Kobe is a great map, but it can hate, but there's four other maps that I like even more. Okay, guys, coming in number four, we have Shadows of Evil. So, this is a great map. One, because it's one of the first Black Ops 3 zombie maps to, like, air in Black Ops 3. And second, to open up the pack a bunch, you have to get all the four aliens from the summoning rituals all around the map. Then you have to bring it to the... Wait, I'm not sure what that room is called, but you have to bring it to this one specific room that's, like, pretty big. And you have to wall, and you have to put all the, um, alien, four alien heads in the, um, in these, like, bowls or whatever. Or these stands or whatever. And then it starts, like, another, like, big ritual, which is much harder from the other ones, but... You have to do that, and you have to like wall run around or whatever, or just kill all the zombies that's trying to attack you. Then you unlock pack punch, which at first, when I first got this map, I struggled with it so much, but you know, now I'm pretty much pro at it. But um, yeah. So uh, another thing that I like about it is the rocket shield and the apothecary syringe, which the apothecary syringe. <laughs> is one of the best wonder weapons in all of zombies like no doubt through through all the black ops games and world of war this is the gotta be the best wonder weapon of all time so what it does it shoots a purple portal thing that just destroys everything in its path literally everything and the rocket shield is pretty cool because it, it's like a normal shield and it's it's pretty strong it will last you like up to like 20 hits, maybe 10, 15 hits around there. And what the special ability is for the rocket shield is that when you, um, like press the trigger button, I think, on it or whatever, you like it, it, it like moves you or like, um, like, like, uh, like it has like four rockets on it each side and um it like blasts in front of the zombies so it actually does a lot of damage to the zombies like it kills a lot of the zombies which is pretty cool 
<clears throat> but but that will be our number four spot back of the map and hit this switch you can only hit it as the trap is going off and then go back into this room now by the teleporter there's going to be a little control panel and there's going to be flashing lights wait for these lights to flash green it's going to be a little bit difficult as you have to try to survive but basically eventually all three will turn green and just go up to it hit activate console and your piece or second piece i should say will be located in the teleporter as for the third one, what you want to do is go to the Bastion and turn on the Death Ray. This is just going to kind of cycle through, and once it is, there's going to be a sort of part floating in the air. Now, to get this piece, you have to line up your launch pad shot with it. So in my game, it's located through this one. So essentially, just activate it, and you'll pick it up as such. Now again, just go to whatever location you want to build it, and that will be your Ragnarok. Again, something you definitely want to build. Awesome, awesome thing. Super clutch, and uh, that's the second buildable. Hey guys, for your number two, we have Mob of the Dead. So, the reason why I put it at number two is because, mainly because of the scenery. And it's so creepy and gory. Now what I mean by gory is, well... There's this one room, which it's it's like a basement area, just filled with blood and bodies. Like it is so creepy and almost kind of disturbing at some times. But yeah, it but, but like the scenery though, like like it's it's Alcatraz Island, and there's you know there's there, there's like these four guys and you have this five like. The, the undead horde of zombies and it, it's just it's a great scene scene like location to be in a zombies map like it's so fun it's a plane there's a golden gate bridge where pack punch is there is um the two little wonder weapons the blunder cat which i'll explain a little bit but the house of redeemer or the house retriever the house retriever the first one, but the, the, like, what, when you upgrade it, it becomes the House of Redeemer, which I'm pretty sure it has infinite damage, and you can throw it to get, gather, like, um, not hearts, but you can, like, it, there's, like, an instant kill, like, like, uh, like, a little far away, and there's, like, a horde of, a, a crowd of zombies nearby, you can jump, throw it, and it will, like, get that power up for you. Then you'll have instant kill, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> and th so the blunder gat is the main wonder weapon for this map. And so what it does is, um, I think there's like two upgrades to this. Like this is one of the upgrades, but I I've, I've never ha happened to upgrade this thing, but I've heard it's pretty freaking good. But so the blunder gat is where you shoot it. And so, like, there's, like, this green gooey stuff, and, like, it, 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 it like, goes in the zombies, and I, I'm not sure if it explodes or not, but, like, it, it, it attracts zombies, so if you shoot it on a zombie, the zombies will all go to that one zombie, or if you shoot it on the ground, the, all the zombies will go to that spot that you shot. So it's like a monkey bomb, but a little better, a little weaker, but I think it's really good. And, but I, I've never had a chance to use it, but it, it, it's, it, it, it looks pretty good. And that's really all I have to say for this map. If you have like $15 laying around, I, if you have Black Ops 2, I would most definitely get this map. Because this map is incredible to play. It's really fun to play solo or with m multiple people, but yeah. I'm going to a great map. Well, there's one map I love even more. Okay, so coming in at our number one spot of the top five maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Could it be anything else, guys? Literally, could it be any other map? It's Origins. It's gotta be Origins. So, so if you don't know what Origins is, it's a Black Ops 2 map. Final DLC for Black Ops 2, and it's amazing. They remade it in Black Ops 3. But either one is like better. I think Black Ops 2 is a little better, and it's the graphics are still good. But the origins on Black Ops 2 is still pretty good. So it's so like 
immersive. And what I mean by that is, like, well, one, they added freaking robots. Well, like, not robots you can control, but there's, like, three robots. And, um, the, and there's four staffs. So, so in, like, Drive and Jack, there was bows, but in four teams, there's staffs, which honestly aren't that good as the bows, but, you know, I, I think they're pretty good, though, overall. I staff's my personal favorite, but, you know, um, that's my personal preference, but, um, yeah, and the starter pistol, first starter pistol ever to change to the Mauser, or the first starter pistol to, like, um, ever be, like, changed instead of, like, the Colt 1911, or M1911, but, yeah, the Mauser is pretty good, and once you upgrade it, it becomes a beast. It's usually one-shot kill to around, like, the upgrade version, like, until around, uh, 20, 25, maybe even 30. I still gotta test that out, but it's, it's still pretty freaking good. If it's not a one-shot kill, then, I don't know, but it's, it's still pretty freaking good. But... I just love Origin so much. It's so fun to play. Getting my staff, getting the one shot pistol, it's just so fun. And like, when I brought it to Black Ops 3, I was so happy. And I, I got the, the DLC 5 for Black Ops 3, and it was it's so fun. Like, it's so fun. I would play. I, I would. If I had to choose one map to play, like, right now, it would be Origin. So that was the review for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more. I'll be posting hopefully more zombie top fives. Actually, I'm I'm planning on making a couple more. So this is this won't be the only one. But um, yeah, I. That's pretty much all I have to say. And yes, I did just take a shower. So. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm uploading this on Thanksgiving, hopefully, so, happy Thanksgiving to all you people out there, so, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say, and, um, thanks for watching, guys, and, as always, keep being the soccer.